Hi, and welcome back to another Veg Inspired video. Today, I wanna share with you the chickpea meatloaf patties out of the new Colorful Kitchen book, The Colorful Family Table. This was gifted to us by Ben Bella Vegan Publishers. Thank you so much. We're gonna share this recipe with you and we hope you enjoy them. This will be the second time we made them. They were so incredibly delicious. Perfectly warming for winter, which is the section of the book that they're in. So sit back and enjoy this video. I'm calling in some reinforcements to help me dice up these veggies. Thanks, John. Okay, so we got all of our veggies and mushrooms and garlic and everything cut and now we are going to saute them in a pan over medium high heat for about 10 minutes until they're soft and then we will add them to the bowl with the rest of our ingredients. Keep watching. Okay, so into the pan is a cup of diced carrots, a cup of diced mushrooms, a medium red onion, and four garlic cloves minced. And a splash of water to prevent burning. While the veggies saute, we are going to mash the chickpeas until smooth. You can either do this in a food processor or you can use a potato masher in a bowl. So that's what we're gonna do. So keep watching. We wanna thank John for mashing up our chickpeas. This was two cans of drained and rinsed chickpeas and to that, we're going to add the flax egg that we made at the beginning. This was two tablespoons of ground flax and six tablespoons of warm water. So we'll add that. Next, we'll add a third of a cup of dried breadcrumbs. A third of a cup of rolled oats. One teaspoon of dried thyme one teaspoon of liquid smoke, two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari, two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce. Just be sure to check that it's vegan. And then we add the cooked veggies to the chickpea mixture, and then salt and pepper to taste. Then we'll mix the ingredients and form them into our meatloaf patties. Okay, so we preheated our oven to 400 degrees, ours is the convection, so ours is actually at 375. Now I'm gonna take my half cup scooper and I'm gonna form this, form half cup patties. And into the oven they go for 25 minutes. While the patties bake, go ahead and make yourself a glaze. For the glaze, you need a fourth of a cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, 
and one tablespoon of maple syrup. And you'll use that to glaze your patties at the end of the baking. We found that flipping the patties after 25 minutes and baking them for about 10 minutes before putting on the glaze worked perfectly. So we'll just give them a quick flip and then back into the oven for 10 more minutes. After those 10 minutes, take your patties out, put the glaze on that side. Ah, uh, it was about, I don't know, a teaspoon. And then I went back over and added any additional glaze to any that looked not as glazed. Uh, the glaze bakes on and makes such a delicious topping that you don't want to skip. You want to make sure you get it all over the edges and use every bit of that glaze. Then back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. The whole house smells amazing. These chickpea meatloaf patties, they're actually burgers. So you could eat them as a burger with some mixed greens, but we paired them with some mashed Yukon gold potatoes and a simple wilted spinach. Let's give this a taste. Mmm, look at that texture. Carrots, onions, mushrooms, and chickpeas. The perfect texture. Let's dig into this gravy. Mmm. Mm. This is the fourth time we've made this 10 minute gravy from the Colorful Family Table cookbook. It is so good. It's ready so fast. We don't add any oil and it turns out splendid. And we're back. Oh my gosh. Those chickpea meat loaf patties are so incredibly good. So Scoot and I thought that we would show you around the Colorful Family Table Cookbook. So here's the cover. It's awesome. And all those tabs that John and I put in the, in the cookbook, we're so excited to make recipes out of it. We made this recipe. Those chickpea meatloaf patties are actually for burgers. Uh, we also made, oh, we made this recipe, the, this recipe. They are the mashed, we made mashed potatoes and then we paired that with the tofu fried chicken and then the 10 minute gravy. Okay, let me talk a minute about the 10 minute gravy. It is ready in minutes, literally, probably less than 10 minutes. And it is so savory and rich and delicious and easy. Like that is a winner, 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 winner gravy gravy every dinner kind of winner. So that is all that we've tried. Oh no, we tried the easy skillet hash. That one was good, but since we don't use oil, we would need to modify the cooking method because we feel like it would have been crispier if we had baked it perhaps. So we were thinking we would try that again. Um, that's all we've tried so far, you guys, but the cookbook is awesome. Like I said, I love the colors along the edges of the pages. I did want to talk a little bit about the layout. So the cookbook is laid out by season, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's, so it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes for fall and then winter and then spring and then summer. So I think what I really like about it is, you know, if you're headed to the farmer's market or if you go to the farmer's market or if you get a CSA box, you can grab your colorful family table cookbook and then pair the recipes with that based on the season. The challenge that I'm honestly finding is that we are in Florida and on an 80 degree day, it's difficult to cook up the winter recipes. However, 
it hasn't been 80 every day that we've been here so we have been warming ourselves up with these cozy comfortable winter meals so I will put a link in the description below for the colorful family table cookbook as well as a link to Eileen Eileen is the author to her colorful kitchen website I think her recipes are really delicious. She shares a lot about what her children eat. She has two She has two daughters. So I think if you are looking for ways to incorporate more uh, recipes with your whole family, these are excellent recipes and uh, we're really, really pleased. So be sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more of the recipes that we cook out of the colorful family table. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna try those meatloaf patties. They are so delish. And until next time, eat more plants, live veg inspired, and have a great day.